is Angie. I'm 17 years old. I'm Brandon. And I'm 15. I'm Cincinnati. And I'm 16. I'm Jimmy. I'm 17. I'm 16. I'm Arnold, I'm 16. I'm Emily and I'm 16. So isn't it amazing that all, all the people you see on stage right now are all under 18 years old and they're carrying on the beauty of their culture by participating in this group. Um, can you tell me what made you decide to join this dance group? Well, I wanted to join the dance group because um, when I was little I seen these kids dancing and then I figured out that I was from my culture and I really wanted to get to know more about my culture and preserve it. Thank you. And then, your answer? Uh, <laughs> uh, get to know a uh, little bit more about my culture. Does anyone else have anything to add? I like working um, doing volunteer, working with youth group, and um, I can't stay still, so I have to be able to do something. Well, this is perfect for you then. He said he can't stay still. Dancing requires a lot of movement. Um, who here can tell me a little bit about the clothing that you're wearing? Uh, all right. The outfit we are wearing is called Om Pavong, and it comes from like Mian people. And this right here is like a sarong, so it comes from Cambodian people, and it just keeps us comfy when we could do whatever we want with it. You know, sleep, shower, and stuff. <laughs> she said, sleep and shower too. Fantastic. <laughs> Um, is there anything about your culture or your this particular dance that you just performed that you want to share with everyone? <laughs> I heard TJ. That's not really tallest. Um, I don't know. To be honest, um, I can tell you a lot about our other dances, but as for this one, I just know it's a it's a mixed one. It's more of a. Um, I guess you say collaboration or like, yeah, basically a mix of two different uh, groups rather than just Cambodian itself. So that's why the clothing isn't, you know, exactly what Cambodian traditional clothing would look like, but it is a mix of different kinds. And so that's why the jam, so they call it, is a different type of, like, I guess, people, you know? So it's just a mix of clothing. It has some of our pieces and whatnot, but as for the dance itself, yeah, not too much I can say. Not this particular one, but he does know a lot of other dances to folks. Um, does anyone else out there have a question for them? This is a great opportunity to ask any questions you may have. None? Okay, well thank you so much for, oh, I see a question. Yes. How important is it to them to exploring their own culture through dance? The question was how important is it to you to keep exploring your culture through dance? <laughs> he actually raised his hand for that one. <laughs> it's actually very important because um, it's kind of fun learning about your own culture because you get to know a little bit more about yourself, you know? And then um, on top of that, it seems like, I mean, I've been dancing for, let's see, five, five, six years now. Okay, five years, okay? And so um, I'm always learning something new. You know, whether it's, you know, with everyone all together or just me individually, I'm always learning something about Cambodian culture or even about teamwork, okay? Or even learning how to speak more or, you know, whatever it is, you know? So, I guess it's really important. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Anyone want to add on? No? <laughs> yeah. 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 I have a question too. Yes, we have another uh, question. Yes, how do you encourage young Cambodian to participate in traditional dance like you guys? The question is, how do you encourage young Cambodian Americans to continue to participate in these types of uh, cultural performances and activities? I mean, what was it that really motivated you? I mean, we had some answers in the beginning. Yeah. Was there any pressure from your parents to learn and then you just like, realized this is amazing? You saw other friends doing it? What? Any other? <laughs> One of the other reason I joined this dance is because um, I like meeting new people. Like I met everybody over here, I didn't know them. They got me out of my comfort zone. And that's about it. I have a question. Do you enjoy traveling to San Francisco? Yeah. 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 No, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love San Francisco. And uh, to add on to the other question, um, yeah, it was. It's a. It starts off as a parent thing, cause you know every parent and grandparent want to see their, you know, children, you know, trying to carry on, you know, like um, any traditions in the family, or even like, you know, I guess like to know more about their culture, and it becomes like this like huge learning experience. You become addicted to it, and you just want to keep on, you know, 
bonding with other groups, like Fresno Group, for instance. So we ended up, you know, meeting with them, and then, you know, we love being around them. Find someone else who, you know, enjoys doing the same things we do. So it's just like, it's fun. Yeah, so parents, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So I have a question for you, too. Um, so as a dancer and also student, right, how do you manage your time for practice and for school? Oh. <laughs> How do you balance your time between practice and school? Um, for me, since we practice, we start practice right after school, but then we end about around six, so that gives me enough time to like do my homework and study for like tests. Um, and my teachers, they're really nice about because they know that we're students, so they're really um, sweet about giving us our own time to do what we have to do, and they're always there to help us out too when we need something for school. So. I think it's our dance teachers, they're really good at helping us. Great, thank you. Anybody else want to answer that question? Oh, is there an athlete here? How do you balance sports, dance, and school? Uh, <laughs> and you leadership, uh, apparently. I make, I make time. <laughs> Good answer. He makes time, ladies and gentlemen. Can we all please give him a big round of applause again? Actually, oh, wait, we have another question. Okay, great. Who's your favorite dance teacher? I have the mic. Does anybody want to speak into the mic? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Damn, look at the time. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, there, um, there are no favorites. Um, yeah. Som sometimes, sometimes we think of each other as teachers as well. So, you know, you know what I mean? Like, we're always learning something, not just from you know, our dance teachers, but, you know, from everyone else. So, I guess, uh, yeah, everybody, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You too. You too. Any last questions? All right. Thank you so much for your time and staying with us and <laughs> answering our questions. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Let's give them a big uh, a round of applause, please.